What up, gamers? <laughs> Move up. Uh, welcome to part four of my um smuffs pickups, not pickups, but my smuffs collection. Just talking about my smuffs and my favorite smuffs. Um, and this is part three. And uh, part three, I think I'm gonna cover. Uh, I got uh, some uh, Sega Saturn games, PS1 games. PS2 games, and I think I'll try to fit in um, my um, super, my um, Neo Geo games, uh, you know, my smuts. Most of them are MVSs. Um, I'll try to get those in, you know, I already covered these in my uh, MVS collection, so I ain't gonna spend too much time on those. And then, you know, then part four, I think I'm just gonna leave for like Dreamcast and my modern games. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that to end it off on part four. But anyway, getting into part three. And I think I'm gonna start by doing this, which is what I should do in the first place. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna get into the, um, Let's, let's talk about the Saturn game. So, because when Sega Saturn came out, Sega Saturn uh, was pretty much known, what, for the uh, fighting games, the 2D fighting games, and they uh, shoot them up. So, you know, and uh, so like my Saturn games, I don't have all of the Saturn games, of course, I mean, you know, but I got the ones that I like that I thought was good. So, I mean, I'll talk about them. I ain't going to talk too heavy about them. But like I said, I kind of, kind of want you to see them. And, uh, you know, and this is a discussion, too. So, but let's go off. Let, let's start off with um, Panzer Dragon, the Panzer Dragon series. So, I, I got this Panzer Dragon 2, uh, which I thought was a pretty good game. And now that I think about it, um, uh, I just bought Panzer Dragon 1. I didn't get that yet. So, uh, so I got Panzer Dragon 1, Panzer Gra Dragon 2. Uh, so just, uh, you know, that was, like I said, I thought, I thought it was a pretty good game for the side. You know, not the greatest, I didn't think, but I thought it was all right. Layer Section is another one I have for the side. Uh, I thought it was another one I thought that was okay. I didn't think it was great, but I thought it was okay. Shoot. Now we start to get into the uh, Darius games that I did think were better than, like, Sakaya for the Genesis. Um, and then, um, what else? What else? Um, did they come out? Yeah, they came out. Whatever they came out with was a Supernova for the Super Nintendo. Um, but I thought they really started coming on up to speed when they started getting into the Darius series. Now this is just Darius Gated, and I know they did Darius too, but I didn't. Know, I never got that one. I don't think I got that one. But we'll look at my smuts. Uh, but I don't think I have it. And when I beat these, I think I beat uh, Layer Section. I don't think I beat Panzer Dragon too. And Darius Gate, and I think I beat it too. All right. Then uh, Gunbird. So now we're getting off into some of the better smups here. So this Gunbird, which is a uh, Psycho game, and Atlas uh, released it, uh, which is Gunbird is a very good game. So, you know, I, I definitely put this up there too. But not, maybe not my top 10, maybe top 20, top 25, somewhere in there like that. But that Gunbird definitely gets in there. So it's a, it's a solid shooter. I really like that a lot. Now, uh, getting into one of my favorites here, which is the Gradius series. Gradius, uh, this is Gradius Deluxe. So I think Gradius 1 and 2 are on these. Uh, and, of course, I beat Gradius 1. Gradius 2, I think I beat on this, too. But this is the only way you can really play Gradius 2. Uh, and I uh, basically, uh, this is very nice. I mean, it's almost arcade purpose perfect on these games. That's why I like these a lot. And I think that's why it's so popular on the side of the two. But very good game to pick up if you haven't picked this up before. Uh, and and also I picked up on the Parodius on the Saturn as well. Now they did a couple other Parodiuses on the side of the two, but I figured I, I stayed away from those because I got them on the um, uh, Super Famicom. But the sexy Parodius is the one I think I want to get. So that might be the one I'll be looking for next. But anyway, Herodias, very good game, very fun game, just a, just a parody of Gradius, uh, but it's definitely a good game. Uh, and now we're getting into the solid shooters, or more solid shooters, I should say. And uh, these, I just feel, were just offsprings of um, 
Ray, I mean, Raylan was the one that set the standards as far as I'm concerned. And then uh, the Don Pachy series, uh, you know, which is a good game. You know, it's a good solid game. I think this is, uh, you know, this is Atlas. Uh, and uh, it's a good solid game, and I think this is when Cave really started to take over, which we'll talk about Cave uh, in part four. But anyway, Atlas, that's a good solid shooter, um, which is uh, Don Pachi. Then, of course, Dodon Pachi, which is another solid shooter, which has probably set the standards for the modern smuts the way they are now, you know, with the hell. Uh, bullet hell shooters and stuff like that, you know. So these are these are some of the pioneers right there. So I mean, these are definitely good ones to have. These are good, solid shooters, you know. And um, forgive me if I hack the name up. It's uh, Suki Gurintai. Uh, Suki Gurintai is a recent pickup uh, that I uh, got, and uh, uh, you know, from I see a lot of people talking about that. Super, I saw Super High Tech Gamer talking about it, you know few other people talking about it, you know, and it is a very good game. I'm glad I bought it. Very solid game. Have I beat it yet? No, but it's, I just recently got it, man. Will I be playing it more? Absolutely, yes. I think it's a very solid shooter. Very beautiful shooter, too. Uh, and now my two best shooters here, this was one of on my want list for a very, very long time. This Battle Borrega. Battle Borrega is one of my favorites, too. I keep saying my top three, but this is definitely one of my top ten, so this is how I in my top 10 ranking too, you know, Battle Borrega is definitely uh, one that I consider to be one of the hardest, ridiculously hard, you know, that my eyes just can't see those small little bullets anymore, you know, but it's a very good shooter, it's one of my favorites. Uh, and then lastly, closing out my Saturn uh, collection is uh, another one I have for a while, and I think mainly the reason why I bought this, I mean, because I'm a Smuts fan, of course, but the, but the hype around it. You know, everybody talking about how uh, good uh, 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 Radiant Silver is. Radiant Silver Gun is Radiant Silver Gun. And Radiant Silver Gun is the best shooter of all time. Radiant Silver Gun. Radiant Silver Gun. It's good. I don't consider it to be the best of all time. I mean, I like it. You know what I mean? And uh, have I beaten it? I don't even think I've beaten it. I've never put the time in. You know, maybe probably one of the reasons why I don't like it that much. I mean, I mean, I like it, but it's not one of my all-time favorites. Um, but um, it's, uh, you know, I like it. But like I said, if it's, it's the best shooter I've ever played, I have to say absolutely not. It is not. I, that's not just my feeling about it. So, But that's my side of the collection right there. So we'll get on, move on, um, so I can try to keep this flowing here. Uh, we'll get into my PS1 games. So now my PS1 games, I got some Japanese PS1 games here. This was a recent uh, pickup here. I didn't even realize I had beat Gradius 3 finally for the PS2. I'll get into that when I talk about those games. But um, but anyway, and after that, I was kind of fiending for another. Gradius didn't realize they did a Gradius gaming. And this Gradius gaming is very beautiful. So if you like Gradius 3 and Gradius 4, this didn't come out in the U.S., I would highly recommend this game. This is a very, very beautiful game. I haven't beat it because I haven't had a chance to play it yet. But I'm sure it's going to be as difficult as all the graduates, but it's very beautiful, I tell you that. Very beautiful. I mean, snow scene in there, incredible. You know, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Now, this one, uh, which actually I should probably show all of these together because this is basically a combo pack of, um, and you can't read, I can't read Japanese right, but, oh, there it is, Ray Storm and Ray Crisis. So this is Japanese one, and I'm going to show this here, too, because it's still, it's still got the spine card in there. Uh, and uh, I guess they're both on the same disc. Uh, and I just thought I'd buy it, you know, it wasn't really that expensive, and I'm like, shoot, I don't mind having both of these together. I mean, they, these are good, solid shooters. So, but that's uh, Ray Storm and Ray Crisis. And then here's the U.S. versions of these, Ray Storm and Ray Crisis. So both of these, I thought, were very good shooters. These are both, um, uh, Tato, I believe, has uh, released these. But um, I thought they were three, three D effects. You know, I thought these were pretty good. You know, really helped define, I thought, the um, PlayStation. You know, so absolutely those. Now, I'm going to get into this one next because this is really the one that got me into the PlayStation. Um, when I first bought my PlayStation, this was the first Smup I bought. This was actually a, um, this was a, um, the, the, the 
release title. So this is one of the release titles, uh, Project Raven. And of course, you know, by the time uh, the PlayStation came out, Raven was already hot. I think they were probably on here, because I think Ra what, Raven 2 is on here? Wait, no, Raven 1 and Raven 2 are on here. So these are, um, this one is a really good one, you know, that anybody know about the Raven Project. So, and you know, and I bought, this was the first one I bought. Now I got two <laughs> copies of Falling All Apart here. I got two copies in here is because this one disc was in another game I bought. I got a probably a pick up pick up uh video. And this was in one of the discs. I don't know if it was a Star Wars or something. It was some game I paid like a buck for and this was in it. So I was like, yeah, I'll take that. So I was happy to get that, have an extra copy, a backup copy of that. But Raiden uh projects is a very good game. This is one of my favorites too. Gotta put this in my top ten, top 20, probably in my top 10, I would say. This is definitely one of my all-time favorites. Ra Raiden is just, like I say, one of Raiden, Gradius, and our type my, my favorite series of all. No no question. No question. Now, these two, I think I just showed these together, because this is Mobile Life Force uh, 1 and Mobile Life Force 2. Mobile Life Force 1 is pretty much just um, Gumbird. It's Gunbird, right. It's Gunbird. And Mobile Life Force 2 is uh, Shikigami 2, I think. 1 or 2. Shikigami 1 or 2. And uh, this one I had and got rid of. I was like, ah, you know, because I always used to see it out there for a couple dollars. It ain't a couple dollars no more. Uh, so I'm kind of glad to get this back in the collection. I talked about this in one of my pickup videos, too. But it's a good one to have. This one you still can find pretty dirt cheap. But this one, since it's Gunbird, you don't find this one out in the wild as much anymore. So if you come across it, I definitely say, um, pick it up. Uh, what we got here? Gecko Shooting King. Gecko, and did I beat those? Probably. I don't remember. Uh, but um, uh, Gecko Shooting King, I don't remember if I beat this one or not either. Uh, I would say it was all right from what I can remember. It's been a while since I played it. There was nothing about it really stands out that I can remember about it. So I say it was, it was all right. I don't remember. Uh, next game, Strikers 1945. So now this game, I can kind of tell, I can tell these games, but I bought these games early on um, in the um, PlayStation life. Uh, you know, so I figured, you know, I picked up these shooters when I saw them, so I knew I was buying them left and right. Uh, and I probably beat this one too, I just don't remember, but I know it's a solid shooter though. In the Hunt. Now we're getting into some really ones that I really like. This one is probably, this is... Uh, from what I heard, this one is actually um, the same developer that made Metal Slug. So, which I could kind of, as soon as you put it in, you'd be like, man, this looks just like Metal Slug, you know? And it's good, man. It's really good. Now, from what I'm understanding, too, is that I guess this this one is rarer than the other one. The other one is a long box. Um, and uh, this one, you know, I guess, you know, but I, this is when I was just picking up games. So I don't remember how I came across it, but I know I just got it. Another thing I can think about it, though, is when I went to uh, Galloping Ghost in Chicago, they had the arcade of this, and well, I've never seen anything like that. And like the uh, the title screen, it was basically just like an underwater scene that said, like, uh, in the hunt, and it, it was almost like in 3D, and it had like the submarine and stuff, and it was pretty nice. I got it as a, a screensaver on one of my, uh, on my computer. It was really, really nice. But this is a very good game, a very fun game. I say this is definitely in my top 20, if not top 25. Um, Odd Hander is another one. So I'm starting to get into some of my favorite ones, too. Have I beat this game? I haven't beat this game. I watch people beat this game, showing the secrets on it and stuff. You know, it's like, it, it, was, it got a little bit difficult for me is why I kind of got out of it. But I still like it, though. And it's definitely one of my top ones I like. Uh, so, and I'm glad I got this, and this is, uh, I guess, apparently, uh, Square Saw, uh, who's into the, you know, I ain't into those role-playing games, but it made all the fantasy stars or whatever, they big, this was their only smut, so, but this is a very good game, like I said, I definitely put it in one of my top 20, if not top 25, here's another one, Darius, G. Darius, I definitely put it in my another, uh, top, top tier ones, and this one, I, I'm sure I beat, I'm sure I beat. Um, but um, love this game, man. This this one is one of the, this is probably my favorite out of the Darius series, by the way. This one here, um, I just liked it, man. I like when you're able to take 
um, other people's power, like the, you know, the enemy's power. Just like um, um, Gaaris. Gaaris, you can do the same thing, but the Genesis. So this one I like. This is definitely in my, one of my top favorites, too. Um, our types. I had two copies of those to talk about one over here. Got our type one and our type two on here. Um, I don't know what can you say, man. These are our types. You know, I'm glad I got this. I like these the R type series. R type series, like this, is one of my favorite series. Um, so I'm glad I got them. I'm glad these are arcane perfect quartz, hard as ever. You know, but these are definitely uh, two good ones to have for the PlayStation. And lastly, closing out, my PlayStation series is uh, R type Delta. R type Delta is getting kind of up there in price too. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's another good one. This one, when they try to, you know, go 3D, you know, and uh, some people like it, some people don't. Like I said, I don't mind them experimenting. I mean, you know, I, I didn't think it was better than the other two, but I still thought it was a good one to have in the collection, absolutely. So I, I, I thought it was pretty nice. So moving on, let's go into, let's get into the um, my PS2 games. So now, um, Slip he. Silky, I used to see this out a lot. It's kind of like the mobile life force. You always see it. It's a treasure game too. You don't hardly see it as much anymore. I don't know how much it's going for now, but a lot of people didn't like it that much. They didn't think it was all that great, but I thought the graphics were pretty decent on that. You know, I say I give it an okay. I thought it was okay. I think it was great, but it was okay. Uh, what else we got here? She got me too. She got me too. I think I beat this. I don't remember. Uh, but Shikigami 2 um, in the Shikigami series, I thought is a pretty decent series I liked. I liked it for the Dreamcast, so um, I think she, the Shikigami series is pretty good, pretty good series, so that's all right. And here I think it's a Japanese version of Shikigami 1, I believe. Uh, but, you know, because like I said, I like the Shikigami series too. Not as much as, you know, the R-Type of Gradient series, but I think the Shikigami series is a pretty good shooter, shooter series, I thought. That's why I bought that one for the Japanese version, too. Uh, 12 Stag, uh, which is supposed to be like, I think you can play the R-Type, R-Trazio ship or something like that in there, too. The same makers, I believe, uh, Taito in there. But I thought this was okay. I mean, I picked this up pretty cheap. I didn't think it was all that great. I thought it was all right. So, you know, 12 Stag. Now, the one I think that is, now this one, I'm going to say, since I was going to try to say the, the cave, shooters for last and talk about those but this one since i'm showing it here which is uh mushihimi sama is probably my favorite shooter out of all the k shooters you know k k shooters you know all them hell shooters i mean they're pretty nice but this one i just it's just something about it i feel that this is my favorite one um, mushihimi sama and the other one mushihimi sama utara but um this one i think is my favorite out of the k shooters so i just say that right offhand. This is probably not the best best version. The best version is on gonna be on the Xbox. But this was the first one I got and I, I really played that one a lot so I like that one. And yes I absolutely need that one. Um good old Gradius. Uh now this is Gradius. I got a US version and a uh, Japanese version. This is Japanese version, this is the US version, this is Gradius three and Gradius four. Two phenomenal games. These these on the PS uh two uh, really did a lot for me, um, you know, and it took me years to beat this Gradius 4, or Gradius 3, I didn't even beat, beat Gradius 4 so hard, but Gradius 3 took me, I mean, about, I don't know, when this come out in the 90s, I just recently beat this, let's put it this way, had my card saved, and uh, maybe a few months back I beat it, but Gradius 3, man, it was hard, man, but it was fun, uh, so I really, I enjoyed the Gradius series, man, they just, ridiculously hard, but I really enjoy it. But, so that's uh, Gradius 3 and Gradius 4. Uh, what else we got here? Here's uh, Raiden 3. So I got Raiden 1 and 2, Raiden 3, and I got two Raiden 3s because this one is sealed. don't remember where I got it, but I just figured I picked it up since it was sealed. Radius, Raiden 3. Raiden 3, <clears throat> I like it. Uh, I didn't think it was better than, uh, you know, the Raiden Projects, I just like the Raiden Projects, but I still like them, though. Um, uh, and we'll get into Raiden 4. I got Raiden 4 and 
stuff. We'll give them that with Xbox 360. But Raiden 3, I thought was good and solid. So it's definitely one definitely good to have for the collection. Um, now, uh, Gradius 5, which I probably should have got into that since I did Gradius 3 and 4. But anyway, Gradius 5, definitely a top tenor. Definitely a top tenor. Um, just graphically, everything. I think, didn't Treasure do this too? So, you know, Konami and uh, Treasure, and um, they made a phenomenal game right here. So, I mean, if you don't have this, I think I got multiple copies of this. The games I really like, I bought multiple copies of as a backup, but phenomenal game. This is definitely one of my top ten, if not in my top five right here. Gradius 5, I mean, what else can you say about this game? I mean, it's just beautiful, a play like Gradius, and it's just incredible game, and they just, when they humiliate you after when you get your, your ship blown up, and when they tell you, you need more practice, I'm like, oh my goodness, I guess I do, <laughs> you know what I mean, make you want to play it even more, uh, our type final, another one, all time favorite games right here, man, uh, now this is the Japanese version, here, let me show this one, right, because the Japanese version, um, I like it because it got one of those uh, dual dual covers. You know what I mean? So this is dual. Here I give you a type because I like this is one of my all-time favorite games right here. So this here, you know, got the dual covers and it show all the ships. Now I'm gonna talk about this one a little bit because um, this game I got hit to. I went to like I was going to the Neo Neo Gavins. We were doing those like back in the. Late, two, late 90s, early 2000s, but whenever this came out around that time, um, could have been the 2000s, but a guy that's very good at Smuts uh, was playing this game. He had all of the ships out, you know, and I think at the time I understood it to be 99 ships, and I think he said it was basically uh, 101 ships because it's two extra ones. So, um, and of course he had the Japanese one too, and uh, I bought that one later, but I ended up buying the US one, I went home and played this thing, and this, this show you how many hours you put into it, and I know I got over 50 hours putting this game. I was determined to get every last ship out of here, and I got every last ship. So the final call ship is a beautiful ship. I mean, you customize those, I think you can customize the ships. I don't remember, I think you can though, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. But I haven't played this game in a while, but just holding it in my hand, just talking about it, just all of the good memories I have with it, it's just gonna make me have to uh, play this game again, and that's the reason why I got my little R-Type. Can you see that there? My little R-Type ship there. Because R-Type, like I said, R-Type and Gradius, man, these are my favorite ones right there. So uh, so this one definitely top tier. One of my all-time favorites right there. And uh, my other one's here. My, uh, now, I'm a, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about Paul Star Last is how I'm gonna do that. Because Paul Star is one of my favorite games too. I'm gonna kinda talk about that why. So in in these other uh uh MBS Neo Geo games, I kinda went over with my Neo Geo collection, so I ain't gonna really go into these too heavily, but you got uh Arrow Fighters 2, um, uh, which is okay game. Did I beat that one? I think so. Well, I think so. Alpha Mission, I know I beat Alpha Mission 2, uh Captain Tumaday. Captain Tumma Day, I know I beat that one also. Uh, Ironclad, I did not beat, and I got this one from uh, the guy, uh, Jamination X hooked it up for me. Uh, James, uh, Prince, Story Guy 2, I think I beat, I don't remember. Uh, Last Resort, I know I beat. You know. Well, no, actually, because you got to beat it twice. I didn't beat it twice. I don't think I beat this game, because it get kind of hard after you know, so I don't think I beat that game. Blazer Star, I definitely beat. I definitely beat that. So, okay. So now, let's talk about, because this is a um, post off for the MBS. So, let's do this. And I'll, I'll dedicate a little bit of time to the post off for the MBS. So, I got post off for the MBS. I got a um, conversion card, too, because I was playing this one so much. This I came across the conversion card. <clears throat> And this one plays pretty smoothly too. It don't have no glitches in it or anything. And the actual AES card. So here yeah, now I'm gonna move my thing out of the way. So I'm gonna talk about Polestar. The reason why I like Polestar so much, because it for obvious reasons. 
you know, why I like Polestar so much. Why? And it, and it was a good segue because I talked about R Type Final. If this ain't a knockoff of R Type Final, I don't, or R Type, I don't know what is. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, and I think the reason why I liked it so much is because it basically took the same elements of R Type and just made the graphics more beautiful on the 2D level. You know, because I like the 2D, the R Type, um, R Type Final I like, but you know, just regular R Type 1, R Type 2. Um, but it just took those elements and put it in their game and gave me another version of R Type. So that's the reason why I like it so much. I know Dead Thumb Gaming, you always ask me why I like this game because it got the same elements of R Type. It's hard, it's, it's beautiful, you know, and um, that's the reason why I like it so much, man. So, you know, so that one is it, right in there with uh, uh, Gradius and R Type. So, you know, that's, that's the reason why, and I talk about this one so much and why I play it so much is because I guess I got so burnt out playing. Uh, R type and Gradius 3 and you know and R type final and stuff like that. It was refreshing to have another R type that I really like. And uh, speaking of R type, um, I got the Xbox, I guess Xbox Live came out with like another version of R type. I forgot about that. I got some other version of the Smuffs on those too, but I figure I ain't gonna talk about those. But anyway, but this is why I like it so much, man, because basically it's just another R type. It got it got it looks like Almost like Axelay, you know, I like those uh, uh, 2D renderings, um, you know, and it's just, it's just a very beautiful game, man, and it's right in the line of R-Type, so that's, that's the main reason why I like this game so much, and I got so many of them, just like I got so many of the r type I got multiple copies um, of r type I hate to even say it, so just so you know here, I'm just looking behind again, I'm just going to show you, here's uh, two, more, <laughs> two more copies of r type so that lets you know right there. I mean, just looking, here's four copies, four copies of R Type. So R Type Final. So am I a big R Type fan? Absolutely I am. Am I a big Gradius uh, fan? Absolutely I am. And that's the reason why I like Paul Star so much. So with that being said, I'm going to um, cut this video right here. Um, and again, thanks for watching part three. Uh, part four, I'm just going to put through my final series. I'm going to finish it up with the Dreamcast games and uh, the uh, Xbox 360 games. Uh, and uh, that should do it for my SMUP collection. But again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it as always.